Let the people praise you, O God. Let all the people praise you. Then the earth shall yield our increase. God, our own God, shall bless us. God shall bless us, and all the hands of the earth shall fear him. Good morning, and welcome to Daily Impact. I am Yemi Grisman Adulogu, lead pastor, Lighthouse International Christian Center. Praise is an expression of admiration, appreciation, glory, and worship unto God. An expression of admiration, of appreciation, of glory, and worship unto the Almighty God, our Creator. Why is praise so important? What makes praise key? What are the things that make praise key and makes it uh, very vital in the opening of the heavens uh, over a man's destiny. Don't ever forget that scripture, Psalm 67, verses 5, 6, and 7. When the people praise God, the earth is compelled to yield our ink. Let us consider a few of the very many things that make praise germane in our lives and in our destinies. Number one, it secures access to God. Praise secures access to God. The greatest gift that a great man can give you is the gift of access to himself. And in Psalm 100 verse 4, the word of God says, Enter into his gate with thanksgiving and into his court with praise. Be thankful to him and bless his name. Enter into his gate with thanksgiving. There is an invitation to come to God's presence. In Hebrews chapter 4, verse number 16, the word of God says, Let us therefore come boldly to the throne of grace, that we may obtain mercy and find grace to help in the time of need. Let us come boldly to the throne of grace. But excuse me, no matter how bold you are, if you don't come with thanksgiving and praise, you will be denied access at his gates. So come boldly, but come with thanksgiving, come with praise. This is what secures your assets. This is your past. As a matter of fact, praise and thanksgiving are the password into God's presence. The password into God's presence. And once you gain access to his presence, you secure access to everything that your life and destiny requires for your beauty and for your color to show. So praise and thanksgiving guarantee or secures access to God. It is the password into the throne of grace. Secondly, praise secures the involvement of God in a man's situation. It secures the involvement of God in your situation. Thanksgiving and praise secures the intervention and the involvement of God in your situation. I am sure you desire God's involvement in your matter. When God is involved, you will end triumphantly. You will be triumphant when God is involved. In Second Kings chapter number 3, verse number 15, the man of God said, Now bring me, but now bring me a musician. Then it happened when the musician played that the hand of the Lord fell upon him. That is upon Elisha, the man of God. Elisha asked for a minstrel to lift up the praise of the Almighty. And as the minstrel, as a musician, began to praise God, God became involved to bring God into your matter. Praise him. Jehoshaphat and Judah brought God into their matter by praising God. They were confronted with a situation bigger than them. The enemies, the forces that were gathered against them, they didn't know what to do, but they praised God. Dear listener, thanksgiving and praise is what to do when you don't know what to do. When you don't know what to do, praise him. Set your eyes on him when you don't know what to do. And the God of heaven will hear you and he will bless you. Thirdly, praise retains God's presence with you. 
it retains God's presence with you. Psalm 22, verse number 3, praise retains God's presence. You are only enthroned in the praises of Israel. He is the one that dwells in the praises of his people. So praise retains God in your matter in your life in your situation may the presence of the lord remain and abide with you as we praise him may you see the hand of god in every aspect of your life and destiny in the name of jesus rise up today and give god quality praise and it shall be well with you in jesus precious name amen if you are in lagos join us for a glorious worship service this sunday at the Etisalat building Opposite Wayek Office, Ogba, Lagos. Time for the service is 9 a.m. If you are in Abel, Kuta, join us at Ebim Firm Filling Station, Itaeko, Abel, Kuta, Ogun State. And time for the service is 8 a.m. The Lord bless you as you are telling the name of Jesus.